All right, PK, do you want to start us off with a bit of an intro? A few. Oh, I'll just unmute you. I still had to push a button. Yeah. Most people would really love that feature if they could have it for me just generally. <laughs> <laughs> All you see is, I'd love it, but uh, yeah. Uh, so I've got a little uh, couple of slides that I've ripped out of a slide, um, a presentation that Daniel and Glenn and I take around the Waikato clubs uh, from time to time, but rather it's, it's quite long. So I've just pulled out a couple of slides to warm us up. Um, I need to do a little bit of techo here to get it going and then present it. So. Um, one second for that. Hopefully when I get this right. Your screen is filled up with a squash court floor. Oh, it's nothing. No, it's kidding. Uh, so actually my all mics on maybe. Um, well, this is uh, about marking of the game, and I, I know that at the end we're going to round up with tips um, for uh, our favourite tips for refereeing, but I'm going to kick in with it. One of the things that uh, I've learned that you that you start straight into when you uh, start into refereeing is how to call the game properly. And I think this is um, great for two reasons. Making the correct calls really does help with clarity of the game, and it also makes our game sound more professional, whether it be at interclub, or at a tournament or on a, on a streamed game. Making the right calls sounds sounds good and the game looks more polished. And that's so that's good for our sport. Um, one of the things uh, I, I hear a lot, um, and I've had a couple of PSAs where uh, earlier this year, where um, one, of the, one of the things that happens when people introduce the game is they go through the players' names and say love all and then say play when ready. Um, and that's... Uh, for trained referees, that sort of um, rings against their ears. I think it's uh, not something we like to hear, but it is. Uh, it seems to be very wide around uh, New Zealand squash courts that to start a game off, people say "play when ready." Please don't do that. It's not correct. Um, so on the slide here, we've got a few um, things that happen in the game. Um, does anybody want to offer in what they think is the correct call to start a game, just uh, when you call the score? Can you unmute people there, John? Everyone have a open slather on. Anyone wants to have a crack, they can just click on the unmute button on the bottom left of their screen. Okay, well, I'll give you the starter for 10. He says, I've got to go to my slide deck. It's a bit confusing for me. Right, so that's love all, of course. So we call the player's name, the so-and-so to serve other person to receive probably best of five games, love all. And that's how the game starts. We don't say love all play, and we certainly don't say love all play when ready. Uh, what do we say when the ball hits the tin? Down. Great, as soon as I hear it, we'll move along. Ball goes on or above the outline. Out. Serve hits the service line. Fault. Thank you. Serve goes out. Oprah. Out of court. Halt. Halt. Serve goes out. Yes, it's not out of court. Out of court's uh, an old one that got me because that's what we used to say back in the 70s, out of court. Um, yeah. And we probably said that on a serve as well. But when a serve goes out, it is a fault. So server leads 14-3. It's asking how you call a score for 14-3. 14 game ball three. 14 game ball. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think, uh, was that you, Paul Cornish, that said 14-3 game ball? That's the correct call. So yeah. I said the other, actually, to be honest. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, well, it's all honesty here. That's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. So the correct, the correct score uh, call is 14-3 game ball. That's right. Oh, sorry. Anybody want to guess? Well, <laughs> <laughs> up. Ball's a double hit or a second bounce. Yeah, not up. up. And not up is right. So that's the the this is one that you'll hear. We um even as refs, you'll if you note these down, you will hear the referees generally when they're marking for another ref or doing the game on their own, they'll get these calls mostly right. I have trouble with the not up and the downs because it all happens pretty quick. 
uh, a nice little mnemonic for the not up is when there's a double action. So it's either a double hit on the wall or a second bounce. That's when the ball's not up. Anything else generally is, uh, even if the ball doesn't make it to the tin, is down. So there's something to help you remember that. I do have another um, slide like this, but I think maybe if we put it in later on just to mix things up, pass it back to you then, John. 